What is up, Rose Miyashi, and welcome to episode 8 of World of Warships for Beginners, my series where we're diving into the pure basics of setting up an account all the way to the advanced stuff at the end, and everything in between to hopefully make you a better World of Warships player. In last episode, we went over the ammo types and when to use them against each class for the destroyers, and today we'll be tackling the cruisers. Let's dive into the training battle, and I'll show you some examples of when to use which ammo types and which one will make you more effective as a player. So here we are in the cruiser in the training room and we're going to kind of follow the same rules as destroyers did in the last video so if you haven't checked that out i'll put a link down below you can go check out the last episode we went over destroyers and their ammo types and when to use them we're going to follow the basic rules of what the destroyers will although we tend cruisers are going to have bigger guns which means more penetration which means more damage which is all good things so that will change up the variables a little bit on when to use what but cruisers versus destroyers just stick with HE. HE will be will be the king ammo against this. You're gonna want to knock out its propulsion. You're gonna want to light it on fire and really just destroy destroyers because you know a couple salvos. You tend to be the counter of the DDs. You're gonna be able to penetrate it no matter what. And then two, three, maybe four salvos. You're gonna have a dead destroyer on your hands. Just be careful because you'll probably be within uh, torpedo range. But Basically, they're going to be going down and that. There's no real reason to shoot de destroyers with your with your AP shells because with that, you're just going to overpen and the damage isn't going to be that, that real. Now, again, there are later situations where AP is going to be a viable um, strat against DDs, but that's not until way later in the tiers. The DDs at this tier are so lightly armored that everything is just going to completely full pen unless they are angled at a way that you'll barely hit one or two shells. It's just not worth it in the end. To be more consistent on killing DDs, just stick with HE as a cruiser, and you will do so much more damage in the long run and just be able to mess with them. Again, taking out their torpedo tubes uh, temporarily or permanently, knocking out their propulsion, making them slower, knocking out their steering, making them stick in a certain angle, or just lighting them on fire to increase their detectability. HE will be your go-to ammo for destroyers for a long time and just making their life hell being basically the counter to their class. So here we are, cruiser versus cruiser, and we're going to follow the same rule again as destroyers with mainly sticking to HE. However, we do have the bigger shell, and what that means you can penetrate the more uh, more armor. So if you remember with the EDs, we're having a, a tough time getting full pen damage against the cruiser. Now, basically wherever we shoot, you're going to get full pen damage. Now, there are still situations where the cruiser is going to be um, a bit more armored, so you're going to shatter some shells. As you can see right there, we got into the thickest part of its armor back here which we're still breaking shells and they aren't doing full pen. But even when we're breaking or breaking shells with a destroyer up here, we're getting full pen damage. Now we'll break down armor layouts later in another video, but as you can see, you're just gonna do more damage as it goes. And uh, you can again, light more fires easier. And with the bigger shells means bigger pen damage. But what does this do? It's the rise of AP versus AP on cruisers. So destroyers with their smaller shells are going to have a tough time uh, you know, really getting those citadels only in certain situations if they're close enough and showing a perfect broadside. Now with cruisers, even if they're angled a little bit, your shell is going to be big enough to do that. So again, we're aiming under the smokestacks, under the guns, under the we're like where the engine's gonna be. I again I always try to stick along the water line and along right so the shells are gonna end. So whatever the fast they're moving, you want to end it right in the middle. Or try to just focus on that. That's just a good rule to kind of work with to get more citadels. But what we're gonna do is stick with AP, fire AP right along the water line, and then hopefully watch this cruiser disappear. So a couple citadels right there, 6900. Again, you're going to be able to get this on a way more consistent basis since the shells are bigger. And we'll continue to get through and see how many we get. Another one right there. And one more salvo and this thing should be dead. So the bigger the shells, what's going to actually happen is the pure alpha damage. So uh, you're going to end up doing way more damage per citadel. Down goes the ship. So as you see, what the I think the citadel as a destroyer was um, 1,700 and this is much higher. So what you can do is you can be a use he against cruiser versus cruiser a lot more freely but then you can use ap more often because you can penetrate the armor even if it's starting to angle away because there's less of a chance to ricochet but dd is the same dd versus dd is the same cruiser you can use ap a bit more if you want to stick with he you'll still be successful but overall ap becomes a bit more of a viable weapon my my recommendation is stick with he um, unless something's really giving you a pretty decent broadside and what i mean by broadside is let's just look over here something that's perfectly flat to you it can be angled a little bit away but if something's kind of angled in it's going to be a bit hard so just stick with he and punch through that light armor in the nose or the light armor is in the upper side and you'll be very successful cruiser versus cruiser 
So here we have cruiser versus battleship, and this is going to be your nightmare. Basically, battleships are there to counter cruisers, because what they're going to do is hit you with their big shells and make you disappear through taking a bunch of citadels. But again, what you're going to want to be doing is, as destroyers, you're going to have a tough time really penetrating that big armor belt. Although, with the bigger shells, you do have a chance, but still, the armor is so heavy on that side. Although, you have the chance of lighting more fires with a higher fire chance, bigger shell, of course. Um, you will still break the majority of your shells against that thick armor. You just don't have that pen value. So, as you see, we're going to continue to shoot along this, and you still won't be able to do that damage, get that alpha damage. Although, you'll have a higher chance of setting fires, all of your shells are just going to continue to break. But, what you can then do, again, we're going to aim for that superstructure. Get above that strong armor. You can actually kind of see a line right here where the armor is extremely strong. And then just you want to start aiming above that. So there's an upper armor belt and then there's the superstructure. So what we're just going to do, focus on this and start getting that damage. Instantly, 2,000. Went for breaking all of our shells. Again, the only one that really broke was the one that um, went low. So we're going to shoot back here a little bit more on the superstructure. Again, dispersion is going to not show us the best right now. And just continue to work down that. So you can then kind of focus on the back stuff. Try to get the fires and spread the fires around. You got unlucky there. Didn't get many fires. But as soon as they're back off of fire, uh, what you can do is then start to bring them down. So now we're starting to work with cruisers as well. We can talk about fire locations. So there's actually four locations on a battleship. There's going to be the front fire. There's going to be two middle fires, and then there's going to be a back fire. So let's see if we actually get all of them really fast. There's the back fire. So as you can see, fire here, fire in the back. Let's see if we can get this one really fast. I, I don't know. It would be really, really good RNG if you get all these back to back. It would make a wonderful video. So we didn't get that lucky. Or get, didn't get that lucky. We'll try one more salvo, and um, we'll see if we can show off all the fires. But as you can see, this is a perfect uh, description of where these fires are. There's one in the front as well. Maybe we'll get lucky. Let's see. Ah, uh, we didn't get lucky enough. But, again, you can then, if you get this fire, aim a little bit farther back, try to get that fire. And if you really want to try, normally what I try to just do is get the two fires in the middle. Um, maybe one in the back. RNG will just kind of help you out a little bit because they'll just start to burn down. Um, but you can spread that out a little bit. But this is going to be the easiest one to get. A lot of the other ones are a bit harder. More ships will have a bigger superstructure, so it'll be kind of easier to get. Uh, one thing that does become semi-viable is AP, but if you want to just have an easier time, just really focus on, on HE. It's going to be able to burn them down and really just kind of really, really annoy them. But one thing you can do is switch to AP and get a little bit extra damage. Uh, again, you're going to be shooting along that bottom armor belt. You're going to continue to just shatter all your shells. This is extremely high armor for this caliber. But one thing we talked about is, again, the superstructure as well as that upper armor belt. You will have the penetration to do that. So once that ship is burning, normal rule of thumb is if a ship has two fires on it, I tend to switch to AP and just stick doing that damage. So what you can do is, let's say both of these are on fire. He's burning down, and it's going to be tough to really try to pinpoint that fire and pinpoint that fire. As you saw on the back spot, it was just only like right here. It was considered that fire zone, and you saw right here, only this part. So hitting this little part, especially from this coast, is going to be really tough. But what you can do is just, again, heavy armor, raise it up just a tad, and start throwing in your shells. Obviously, they all went extremely low for some reason, so I'll raise it up there. And we'll do the next salvo and hopefully get some decent AP damage on this. Again, this is only if there's a, like a bunch of extra fires. Obviously, the game doesn't really want me to show off how AP works on this ship. So this is not going to plan. And we'll try one more time. So there we go. So this, you can do it. Uh, maybe the Wyoming, a stock Wyoming isn't the best choice to show off what superstructures can do. I am just a little a tad higher. Dispersion is kind of helping me out. So what you can kind of see is the overpens. Um, but what we're trying to do is really kind of hit the the the, the kind of the, the the meat and potatoes right here. But it's not really giving us the chance to show it with this ship and uh, what's kind of left on this. But simple. Stick with HE, get those fires going. There are situations that I was not able to show off very well against this battleship, but um, you can start switching AP. Very simple though, you can just stick with HE, burn them to the ground, light those fires. If there's more than two, you can switch to AP and try to focus on that, but it's easier just to stick with HE and just continue to pump out that damage over time, as well as just doing alpha damage and uh, lighting. Remember to move up the aim, get away from that heavy armor and start hitting those full pens as well as fires. So here we are, cruiser versus CV, and again, it's going to be the same rule of sticking to HE, because you want to light that CV on fire, 
to stop his planes from coming out. So, of course, it's going to be a little tough because we're so close. You tend to get a bit of a dropping arc, so the shells have a chance to fall out. We are super close here, so we'll actually be kind of hard to show off. But aim up higher and try to get those fires. Light that deck on fire. Now, the decks on some CVs are pretty armored, so you won't get a lot of pen value on that. You won't get a lot of alpha damage, but you will kind of light the ship on fire. But again, you can see, even, we'll even aim a little bit lower with he and uh, as you saw we were breaking a lot of shells even with uh, the dds but what you can do is since they're so lightly armored against cruiser ammo you can get a lot of those citadels again we're aiming under where those smoke sacks are which means the citadel is there and you can start working on that and just doing a ton of damage as you can see we're just chunking through this right now again though you do want to kind of aim higher at the start uh, you're gonna be farther away because you want to then take down that ship as you can see right there it's on fire we had to aim up higher for that stuff that's going to be in the superstructure that's easier to light on fire. Let's even get the back one really fast. So there we go. Boom. So as you saw, we aimed up higher. This thing is now on fire, burning down. He's either one, can't launch planes, or two, is launching them extremely slow. Once it's on fire, basically you really just need one. Switch to where those citadels normally are and just then start wrecking them right there. So again he on the cvs to launch uh, to make them stop or slow down their launching of planes and then ap or just really stick to he at this point they're so lightly armored that focus on those smokestacks hit those citadels and then you can chunk them to the ground so a brief overview one stick with he against against destroyers this is going to be much easier and you can focus on this and not till way later will you ever need to shoot ap at a destroyer to stick with he burn them and then break their torpedo tubes and do all that kind of fun stuff uh Cruisers, HE still, but AP, if they're giving you a decent broadside, work on those citadels and, and basically sit them into the bottom of the, the ocean, and you can be very successful, and you can get really, really big salvos. If you get really lucky, let's see if we even can right now. Um, he's a little bit angled. As you can see, he's a little angled away. He's not perfectly broadside. He's pretty broadside, though. Let's see if we can just get a decent little salvo right here to kind of show off the um, what AP can kind of do against this guy. So it's five shells. So boom, there's there's 9k, perfect. So what you can do is even if he's going away a bit of an angle, you can still shoot right under that, right on that water line, and right with the AP, and boom, down he goes. It can be very devastating from a cruiser versus uh, cruiser, and then with battleships again, that armor is going to be very very thick. We won't be able to do anything against it. So what we're going to do is then we're just going to start fo focusing on burning them to the ground. So again, HE on that superstructure. Light those fires, and then if you really want, you can switch to AP for some extra damage. But at this point, uh, you know, it's just worth it to stick with HE for these. There are going to be other other battleships that are better examples of what I'm talking about for hitting the alpha damage. But really, uh, HE against destroyers, HE against CVs, AP in the right situations against cruisers, otherwise stick with HE, or HE against battleships. So that is it for this episode of World of Warships for Beginners. We went over the cruiser's ammo types and which to use them on each class. I hope this video really helps you out and hope you guys are enjoying this series. Next episode, we'll be going over the battleships, so look forward to that. But anyways, guys, hope this video helps you out. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.